In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a mobile menu, how to design a mobile menu from something that looks like this to something that looks like this, like this. So you see, this is actually very beautiful and okay. So now let's go and do that. Go to your dashboard, go to plugin. I'm going to install a plugin for that purpose. And you want to look for mobile menu. So you will see different uh, ones that you can use, but I prefer this. These are the two most important, most popular wp mobile menu and responsive menu but i think this one has more positive views than the first one so i'm going to install and activate this one so i'm installing so now activate and then uh it's activating so now i have it so now if i look at my sidebar it's actually there already as a responsive menu and if i click on it then i'll be able to activate create new menu and then I'll be able to see the themes that we have already, like templates that we have already. And then we can, I can choose from any of these four. And we have defaults there already. So I prefer the default, so I click on Next. So you want to give your menu a name. Name your menu. You can give it any name. So I just want to give my header menu. So I give it header menu and it was automatically linked to my premium menu. If I have more menu, I may have to choose which one I want, but I only have one menu, which is premium menu. So it's the visibility will be on mobile, it's going to be on but not on desktop. If I want it on desktop, I will have to pay for the pro version, but I'm using the free version in this video and display condition as well. You can set some display condition, but that is if you have subscription to the semi pro version. So, and I don't want any of that. So I just create menu. So I will be able to create the menu and I'll be able to edit and see everything that I want. It's a beautiful one instead of having the normal one that you will not be able to do much with if you don't have knowledge of coding. So now this is the menu. So you see what we do, this is very beautiful already. So I can just update and start using this. But of course, you know, there will be some need for some changes and some editing that we need to do so this is it and it looks very nice so i want to click on mobile menu i click on container and then do you want the title if i let me show it what what we are doing so if i put off you see this title is gone but i want the title to be there and you may not want it to be there but i want it to be there and then this is the uh the title that i, I want the alan the alan charity which is actually you know the company the organization that i designed the website for and then if i want to put a link you can put the link there slash home or slash whatever link target so if you want to put an image uh you can actually put an image as well so and if you want to use additional contents these are some uh, options that you can browse so i tick that off and then it's gone i bring it i click it on again and then you will see it there again so add more content so that is for that and search i don't want the search i put it off so and these are some professional pro version as well so i'm still in my title here uh and i want to put an image probably a logo of the company that you are designing for or your if you are designing for yourself your logo as well so i put the i put the logo so i click up, up the, uh, upload so the logo is actually there so you can also set font icon but i don't want to do that for mine so these are the font icon you can use and if you have pro version you will have more options so this is for additional content and uh this is the content itself so add additional add more content here so what i just want to use is the tagline of the organization i'm designing this website for so instead of that i use touching lives and then if you click on style there you can style it and do whatever it is that you want so you see most of the things i did, did there are not there already simply because i have not actually updated uh this thing if i update it it will show so these are the styles you can choose the background for your title you can actually choose the font size you can play with the color drag it whichever way you want but of course we are not really seeing it now because uh i'm supposed to update uh this let me quickly go and update it right now so these are all the options that you need so let me just click on update this form right now update and then we'll be able to see everything that we've done so you see 
uh, if I click on it now, so this is my logo that I uploaded. This is the Alan Charity uh, in my style. The color is white and the touching lives as well is there. So that is just for that. In the title, you can upload the image and then put the title and then additional content, you can edit it as well. So this is additional content for me. So this is the menu, menu container columns. Just leave it as one if you want one column. This is search. I don't want search. So, but we have this one underneath, which I will also have to deal with later on. So, if everything is done on your side, and you can also drag, you see, I can drag my title down here. So, if I click on it now, you see the title that was up before is now done. And the additional content as well, I can drag it. So, no, I think it's supposed to be done. Yeah. So, now it's done as well. So, you can drag some or, some or all of these features to wherever you want it. So I just want to take it back up because that's where it's supposed to be in this context. So this is uh, for that and it actually look, looks nice. So uh, you can style, do whatever it is you want. I want to change the logo again. Uh, the black lettering is not really showing. So I want to use one that has a white lettering so that it can show very well. So you see, uh, it's actually showing properly right now. So I update it. So this is what I have. So I can go back and you know let me see this is it on tab and this is on desktop so this is on tab i click on it it's looking nice as well but uh i think this search bear this search bar is still there so what i'll just do minimize this and then go to search it's off actually but let me just put it on and put it off again so now it's gone so uh for the tab it's gone let me see for phone it's not there for tab it's not there for desktop it's only if I have the pro version that I can make this available for my for my desktop. So I just click on update and then I can go back and then I have the toggle button which I can also style. Uh, this is the container width. I don't want to mess with that. Button position, you can edit the button position. The position is actually set to fixed. So the it's actually set to right side. That's why you see it on the right side. So I can also, you know, mess with the position probably to use it to cover uh this uh toggle bar that i have here but i doubt that will work actually so let me just do that and then drag it back so now it's covering it right now which is actually good enough so i can update but immediately i update it's going to change position actually so if you click on button test you may want to do some things else over there so now i said it it's actually changed position but of course the position is actually still there if i actually increase it by one you will see that everything will come to where it is before you see it's actually there so but let me just update and let me see how it looks and then we look for another way of remo of removing uh that one that we have before so that is for that and you may decide to save yours as team so that you can use it later on or not you can give it a name enter template name or whatever it is that you want but i'm not doing that so let me just go and check our website so let me minimize so now we have it yeah so looking very nice actually so uh i want to remove that format to Google that we have already so i want to go to my page edit with elementor and then i want to remove that one that we have there so my elementor is currently loading so uh i will remove it so i'll just come to edit post because that's my header i designed the header as well so i just want to go to the wordpress uh the menu section the uh after clicking the so this is uh menu section i can use the navigator to check the word to hold the wordpress and then i can then just come to where is it advanced and then come to responsive responsive and then i will hide it on mobile and then i will also hide it on tablet because it actually works on my mobile and works on my tablet so and then i will update so after updating it so let me go back to my website and then let's see what happens so i refresh and then let me minimize so now i see you see that is actually gone so we don't have it anymore we don't have the toggle bar underneath this again because i've set the responsiveness to not show on mobile and tab so that is it and then when you scroll down you see that this way but i don't really like the way this actually is moving alongside them is because the position is actually fixed so you may want to go back to your dashboard and then click on it and then click on customize again 
and then you'll be able to edit because it will it would have saved there so uh i want to look for the button the button position actually yeah so instead of fixed i put it on absolute so and you can you know also play with some of this and see how it's going to behave so i put it on absolute so scrolling now you see it's not moving with it again but if i put it on fix which is what i did before it's moving with them but now i put it on absolute and then it's not moving with them again and this is actually very nice and then i'll update it and then that is all so that is all it now to teach uh, you in this video hope if you've actually learned one or two in this video can you like this video can you subscribe to the channel for more and can you comment if you want to ask any question so that's it everyone hopefully see you in subsequent videos this is entrepreneur hub